Hello there lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing a uh, few fragrances. First episode is going to be an Amouage fragrance and this is a female oriented fragrance uh, which is called Guidance. Um, I would like to share my thoughts with it. It's uh, basically a women's perfume but men can also use it if you like sweet, spicy, gourmand type of fragrances. So first of all apologies. Again the voice is still on recovery process but I'm trying to upload videos uh, which helps the channel going uh, otherwise you know uh, channel gets stuck for a long time so time it's around 1 a.m here right now and uh, let's see uh, this bottle thanks to my friend for providing this uh, perfume so it's a three-part presentation so this is the big bottle i think this one is uh, made in oman and uh, let me check once again the bottle size i actually did not check these are the big bottles anyway uh, as we go i think uh, we can discover together so uh, this is the sleeve, what it looks like. And these are the newer Amouage presentations. Previously, they are perfumes. The bottles, they keep the same. But previously, their uh, boxes were different. And uh, they'll give like a, the old packaging of Amouage. You just Google, you'll see it's different. The new packaging uh, looks better, looks definitely nicer, but more pricey than before. Amouage, they marked up uh, their fragrances like crazy uh, we could buy literally amouage perfumes for as low as 150 dollars once now these go for 400 500 dollars you know so you have to wait for discounts uh, which even goes to around 260 to 70 dollars not cheap so these are 100 ml bottles and this is how the box looks <clears throat> uh, this looks really nice by the way it's very solid box i'm holding the mic otherwise you won't be able to hear me so it looks uh, like that amouage really nice and this say they say they make fragrances for kings okay uh that's what it said i think made for sultans or royal families okay the bottle here is very uh, similar to other amouage women oriented bottles they definitely have uh, many other ones i reviewed quite a few in the past they have honor uh, epic interlude i think reflection so i don't remember exactly how many are there but they mostly have a uh, uh, like female counterpart of most men's fragrances so this is how the uh, bottle looks for women it looks very gorgeous it has this peach color and the cap looks like that very very elegant and the magnetic cap works really well so the magnet is very very strong i really like it if you compare it with the men's bottles they look like this i actually prefer men's bottle because the caps are uh, with the gemstones and uh, they look a little bit more uh, up class okay yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep the video short because more and more I talk, I should not talk by the by right, but I just do not want to skip days for reviews, okay? So let's uh, let's start the review. So I pre-sprayed this on the paper, okay? This perfume and the dry downs there and I actually was with my friend when she purchased it and I tried it, you know, on the paper and uh, on like air. I felt this fragrance was the best and what she was looking to buy maybe uh, one of the like three new releases and she i told her to choose this because this one smelled the most special because you know i do not look at notes breakdown which is the most hyped i would tell or suggest people that smells nice to me okay that is the most uh, important thing if it has so much hype so many notes breakdown complex but you don't like the smell i mean there's no point buying that okay that's just my two cents okay so this one uh, apparently has a lot of notes <coughs> sorry and it's done by Quentin Bish. Quentin Bish is doing a lot of uh, designer fragrances, sweet, one million flankers, I think, or Lamal flankers, I don't remember exactly, but uh, he is one of the like happening names and one of the celebrity uh, perfume. Um, like the, he usually does fragrances that's very sweet, and you can definitely tell the signature is there. So the notes are pear, hazelnut, olibanum, osmanthus, rose, saffron, jasmine, um, sandalwood, vanilla. I think Akigala Oud, Akikala Oud, yes, Ambergris and uh, Labdenum. So, uh, interestingly, Amouage, they use uh, frankincense. Um, do not know if they used it here, but I'll tell you what I get from it, okay? So, what I smell from the paper, okay, and what I spray in the opening, there are differences. It is very complex fragrance. It's not just typical sweet fragrance and like a designer, you smell La Belle, okay, from Jean Paul, and it's just that, or something like a Nishane fragrance. Nishanes are good, but sometimes Nishane fragrances can be very sweet and just a few notes, right? And this one feels like it's heavy with notes. It's very heavy fragrance. Performance is unbelievable. Amouage usually have 
so much perfume oil uh, concentration i think these are maybe edp concentration or perfume i don't know but these things are eternal longevity so if you buy an amouage yeah they are expensive but you get nice presentation definitely regal and also ensured with good performance so talk about the smell um the smell wise this thing is uh, not going to be everybody's favorite let me tell you like the sweetness in this is very very overwhelming in the opening i really like it but some people to some ladies maybe this would be too strong okay and some are some individuals are not comfortable okay uh, for example when i'm spraying this my whole room is filled with that on the paper just one spray and when i enter the room like in the ac room i start feeling bothered in the throat i'm not saying it's a bad thing about the fragrance but it shows it's strong so when you have an allergic re reaction do not wear strong fragrances like this but uh, it uh, actually changes i really pick up some spicy notes they did mention the saffron or something like that yeah saffron is there rose is there you start smelling those florals which is the main player of this fragrance so definitely it's some gourmand touches and definitely some vanilla at the base it is sweetened but at the heart it's kind of like a spicy floral which is the most beautiful aspect of this perfume and it does not smell like this color by, by any chance like i have smelled some roses <clears throat> this thing uh, feels like yes rose but also uh, not this colored rose like maybe a little bit more um yeah actually no uh, not really uh, totally different but i would imagine like a little bit more darker than this this smells this looks like a little bit younger kind of a rose but this fragrance smells more strong perhaps with the other vanillic notes and the sandalwood but it is very deep it goes like on the skin like a thick presence okay so it's not quite powdery but it is floral so if you're not a big fan of floral or rose you might find this fragrance too you know sweet or floral or middle eastern type but i would think this is uh, this should be reserved for a preserved for like a special occasion this one also has the gemstone by the way on the top of the cap so these things are not to be worn perhaps every day like dolce and gabbana light blue that's one type of fragrance this is a different kind of fragrance let's you're going out in parties somewhere you're going to dress up and you're going to be a big gathering it's going to be a compliment galore you might wear something like this and you can actually wear uh, something nicer than what your boss is wearing you know as a lady so i would tell you this fragrance is beautiful beautiful and more fragrances are classy but not everything is for me better but one interesting thing to notice is some amouage female perfumes are better than the versions that they release for men the men's ones could be like a little bit more uh rough edges or sometimes feel like something missing in there but women's one they make it really really worth this so even if the bottles i don't like as much but the juices are longer lasting uh, prices are high but i think it's justified in that way that its performance is even better uh, and the thing to notice is uh, like let's say something like lyric omen i like that over lyric man that one smell more men's wearable than the men's one okay see so amouage has that so amouage does not apologize it's not going to make a fragrance that you like but nowadays they're making some men's side meander and i think few of the other ones like the uh, light color ones for summer i think they are trying to give more versatility some people say these things don't last but you would be surprised how much they last so overall coming back to this perfume amouage guidance okay this fragrance uh, if i have to mark this fragrance for quality longevity everything this is uh, almost perfection to 10 like what i really smell i really like it and i think this fragrance is not so easy to understand like based on the first spray you will not be like oh delina or have this you won't be able to tell so complex fragrance definitely give it a try amouage all fragrances even the most simplest one like let's say reflection man i don't think it's safe blind buy right so this is not safe blind buy i would give this fragrance because the price is so high i'll give it a nine and a half out of ten but if you can get it for a good deal or someone selling a partial or low partial this is a good fragrance to grab signature scent worthy thanks for watching let's move on to the second video take care